Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what has been the first two and a half years of August 2019. Congratulations for surviving. It's weird, it's wild, it's mildly chaotic. But as the auroras be fallen and my hope wanes, I'm rem- reminded by lights in the sky, such as Jupiter and the moon and many other stars and planets, that this too shall pass. What am I talking about? I don't even know. I might even break out into the Rocky soundtrack. What had happened was July took us through a very planet retrograde period that was cancer season. So you had all these major planets going retrograde while in their fields. Well, we're getting into the Leo season, but Mercury is coming out of Cancer. So, the last degrees can be the hardest, where the lessons are learned. And, also, okay, what is it talking about? So, the lion's roar has not been heard yet, because Mercury does not go into Cancer, leave Cancer, and enter the lion until Sunday. And the 11th, so everybody be prepared for everybody to still be in their fields, as they have been the last six weeks or so, where it's been less logical, more emotional. And then Uranus goes into retrograde, all the major planets are retrograde, and then they start to go direct on the 11th. So the 11th should be a good day, I hope. Who knows? Man, who can see the future? What's it talking about? It should be hot and steamy and stormy all over. Asterisk, except for the places that are cool, and those are kind of rare. This is the future, but it's different. I'm like, what do you want? He's like, I'm looking for my cat. I'm like, I'm sorry, grumpy cat passed away, dude. You need to move along to the next planet. So things are like wild and crazy, and everybody is extra in their feels. And it's like schism within schism within schism. What are we doing? I'm like, hey, why don't we all be cool, stay cool, and adopt the Bill and Ted manifesto. Be excellent to each other and party on. And the atmosphere is kind of wild too. Rockets be all quick, quick powering and shit. But how do I talk to everyone when everyone is fighting? How do I communicate when people are so mad and sad? Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, chaka con. So yeah, you know, the first eight days of August were pretty wow. Very life comes at you fast. With everybody on like peak, oh my god, I got something to say, and I got to say it loudly. Mood, and that may continue until the 11th. And this is the best way to tell how much energy our planet is getting from the sun and possible other sources, including the giant gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter, who are going to be near us. So yeah, that's how crazy the energy is. Crazy. Crazy for being green. Oh no, I screwed it up. But it's green. We can see that, right? Great. But I love you. And love is a battlefield, like Pat Benatar said. And we're stronger than we've ever been. But things are crazier. We gotta soak all this energy in with a smile. Don't punch me in the stomach or face or internet nuts for saying that, please. It's like people are throwing darts at people and then aliens are throwing darts at people and then the sky is throwing darts at people and I'm like, hey, why doesn't everybody calm down? Why don't you be cool? Why can't we enjoy all this shit together? Why don't we all relax and have an ice cream sandwich on the porch? Okay. But it's definitely stormy and the energy is high, whether it be weather-wise, emotion-wise, war-wise, tariff-wise, currency-wise. People wise, romantically wise, non romantically wise. UK, you got a double storm. One that has moved through and one that is coming, and then one's behind. Why don't we look at it as the daily pressure that might be causing weather? We can see that, yeah, you got some big balls over Europe into Russia. This weird high system that is a monster has been keeping us safe so far. How long will that last? Who knows? We were watching. And in the big blue land, although the North Americas are getting hit hard, 
with rain and snow. Possible snow. Who knows? Here's where all the big blue is. Now let's jump forward a week, see what it's like in the guesstimations. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. But China is in a dangerous territory under the gun with major massive super typhoon coming. Lots of rain, lots of wind, and that is a lot of rain in a hole and and the majority like all the area. I'm talking heavy rain in India too, Thailand. Uh, it's going to be wet over there, and this pattern's probably going to shift towards us. Maybe. Who knows? That super monster high could be there for like forever and a day. That's weird. No matter how you stroke it, heat seems to be the big story. Up in the southwest. And look at that heat coming in from the um, or the dryness coming in from the ocean. Let's go check, shall we? What we need now is like one magic fart across the globe that makes everybody stop and laugh. Stop taking themselves so seriously. And realize at the beginning of every day we all put our pants on one leg at a time. Although if you're in the middle of a landfalling hurricane, you don't have to stop to consider or stop to laugh. You should just stay safe. It's a lot of energy all the time. And I tell you the truth, without being rude. We need more examples of cool people being cool. Are you getting your money's worth? So yeah, Jupiter, Saturn, big deal over the next two years, as long as things all stay together. But it's been a pretty rough ride, right, for all of us. It's been very emotional. Not a lot of the emotions were high quality you want to listen to or feel all day, every day. But we're making it through, aren't we? Jupiter and Saturn. Okay, are you getting your money's worth? I'm worried. I don't want to let you down. That's a true story. That. See, yeah, I've looked in telescopes. I've seen Jupiter and Saturn. You can see them in the sky. And they're always kind of, the sky is getting crazier every day. Kind of like your face. See, so yeah, Jupiter and Saturn, same side of the sun. And Venus is so far away. Venus is always so far away. Jupiter and Saturn, over there in the sky. You can see them. They're all kind of retrograde. There goes Uranus. So you got all the gas giants retrograde. For like five seconds and then Jupiter goes straight. It's a crazy story if you keep track at home. They love you. Needs more romance and comedy though. The sky is getting more colorful. The sun is getting more colorful. The moon is getting more colorful. I say we get more colorful as a people and learn to be playful again. I know it is a radical concept. I'm proposing to you right now. Saturn is like work hard. Jupiter is like play hard. So that's the theme for the next two to three years. Work hard, play hard. Build and make cool shit while solving problems. Sound good? And so, yeah, if people don't calm down, it's going to be dangerous. And even if people do calm down, parts of the Earth weather changes are going to be dangerous. This is the 17th. And so, the models, 17th is like eight days away, man. The models have it doing some. Interesting things to let us know that hurricane season is it's among us. The fact that we got Japan, China, parts of India getting hit by typhoons and monsoon seasons. And that Europe keeps getting hit by Euro canes. Look at that rain band. That alone, it's like it's five lows, should be saying. Full red alert with Jupiter going straight. Double monster Azores high. Craziness. Sorry that I put all the good information at the end, but that's how it goes sometimes. I hope you got your money's worth. Now that sounded okay. What? Take it easy and stay cool. Why are you still giving me the. Am I going to get tinnitus and Tourette's from watching this? That's not going to be good as your plan to your defense commander. But yeah, so things are so weird and the energy is going to keep getting weird and. Hopefully our responses to things will be getting better. I think I made 21 videos in the first seven days, eight days. So I took one day off, although I've still been on night duty in case something majorly disastrous were to happen. Other than people talking about the same subjects for like eight straight days without coming up with any problems, technically 20 years, post-traumatic stress disorder. Man, so like Bill and Ted said, we need to learn how to party again, though. Communicate and shit. But yeah, it's okay. <sighs> 
I love you guys. Look how many lows that is. That's a lot. People are like, I don't want to come here no more. Get your information. Like, okay, that's fine. But we're still watching that one hurricane looking thing that's been showing up around the 14th, 15th. Who knows what's going to happen? This high could stay around Asteroid Fight Club style and save us all. But we'll keep watching, won't we? So we're watching technically one here on the 23rd and then one here on the 15th. All right. So if you want to support my style and my channel, you know how to do it. Love you guys. Everybody stay cool. God bless everyone. Let's live long and prosper together. Peace out.